Welcome once again. Right now we're at Philippians chapter 2, verses 19 through 30. Timothy and Epaphroditus. Now before I read this, I want to challenge you to think about something. You know, there are a lot of evangelical Christians today that say that every single word of the Bible, including every single word of Paul's letters, Paul's epistles, are God's word for you today. It's not Paul speaking, they say. It's Jesus speaking through him, or it's God speaking through him. As I read this, I want you to think about this. Is this Jesus speaking to you? Is this God speaking to you today? But I hope in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy to you soon, that I also may be cheered up when I know how you are doing. For I have no one else like-minded who will truly care about you. For they all seek their own, not the things of Jesus Christ. But you know the proof of him, that as a child serves a father, so he served with me in furtherance of the good news, the gospel. Therefore, I hope to send him at once, as soon as I see how it will go with me. But I trust in the Lord that I myself also will come shortly. But I counted it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus, my brother, fellow worker, fellow soldier, and your apostle and servant of my need, since he longed for you all because you had heard that he was sick. For indeed he was sick nearly to death, but God had mercy on him, and not on him only, but on me also, that I may not have sorrow on sorrow. I have sent him therefore the more diligently, that when you see him again, you may rejoice, and that I may be the less sorrowful. Receive him therefore in the Lord with all joy, and hold such people in honor, because for the work of Christ he came near to death, risking his life to supply that which was lacking in your service toward me. As always, seek God with all your heart, and if you do, you will find him. Call upon him, and he will surprise you, pleasantly surprise you, and show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.